my friends I hope you're having an inspiring day so the other day I was on Uniqlo's website because one of my friends had mentioned that he just got a pair of loungewear fluffy pants and sweater and that it was so comfortable so I went on to their website and I realized that they have an app and not just that that they were having a sale and if you guys have seen any of my previous videos you'll know that I love Uniqlo I've been shopping Uniqlo since they were only available in Japan uh, they've been available in Canada for a while now and I believe they're also available in the States but this online system and their app system is new I think and the sale is always bomb.com at Uniqlo and their pieces are those like classic everyday style pieces there's nothing crazy or super statement with their pieces so I find that I wear them quite often in terms of quality I find that they're just a little bit of a notch below Everlane they are also much cheaper than Everlane um, but I do tend to wear this sort of style often so I spent a grand total of about $250 and I got 13 items which is pretty crazy so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got also my apologies I'm still getting used to my Invisalign so I have a little bit of a lisp I don't know if you can tell but I hope you'll bear with me while I get used to my new trays let's start with tops because I feel like one of the things that I love the most at Uniqlo is their heat tech technology specifically their heat tech turtlenecks I basically live in them for the winter season and I also find that they just fit really well they're very comfortable they don't pinch my neck uh, I have them in multiple different colors already and multiples of even the same color like I think I have about five of the black ones you will have seen me wear them in all my videos I've been wearing them for years they're literally like underwear to me I wear them underneath everything especially if I'm headed out of the house in the winter here in Canada but they were having a sale on their heat tech turtlenecks so I got a another one in white I have one in white already but it did get a little bit yellow I think I've had it for about three years now and it's starting to not be as white I need to bleach it but I do wear it very often so I picked up another turtleneck in white and then I also got this chocolate brown color which I've never actually seen at Uniqlo before so in their heat tech line at least in terms of sizing I feel like because it's such a stretchy uh, warm but stretchy fabric uh, I find that you can kind of teeter-totter in between two sizes so I wear both a small and a medium small if I want it to fit super skin tight and medium if I don't mind a little bit of loosey goosiness uh, transparently the only reason why I got a medium in the brown is because they were sold out of the small and brown and I just really wanted it and I knew I would wear it and like I said these are classics at Uniqlo you can get them all season long but they are currently on sale for nine dollars and ninety cents this is the brown heat tech turtleneck on and like I said I kind of teeter-totter between a small and a medium in heat tech this is the medium so it's got a little bit more fabric as you can see here but it's not so big because it's a stretchy fabric that it looks like it's too big for me like I definitely have turtlenecks that fit like this the small I'll show you guys the um, the white version is just gonna sit a little bit more flush to every curve of your body but the heat tech fabric if you've never felt it before is very thin despite being very warm um, so like I said it's really just a personal preference I kind of go with either or but really like this brown and really like how it pairs well with neutrals and whites here is the white turtleneck on so as you can see this is a small and it's a lot more fitted on me there is some extra fabric as well I probably could also teeter-totter into an extra small um, but I typically wear a small especially because I don't want it to pull super tight especially in white because as you can see because the fabric is thin you are gonna see through it um, but here is what the small and the white looks like on so I'm gonna be quoting all these prices in Canadian prices obviously for my American friends if the prices are the same they're gonna be a lot less than this so under $10 for these turtlenecks is a steal next up are also turtlenecks technically they're mock necks uh, but they are a little bit different than the heat tech style these are ribbed turtlenecks from Uniqlo like I said I really like Uniqlo turtlenecks I really like their fabric I find them very layerable so I have collected quite a few in my closet like I said they're basically like underwear I'm shocked I'm not wearing one underneath my polo shirt right now but 
like I said, these ones are a little bit different than the Heat Tech ones. They're actually ribbed. They remind me a lot of the ribbed fabric from Everlane, uh, which is pretty impressive considering Everlane's prices are typically a little bit higher. I would say on average anywhere from like 10 to $20 higher than Uniqlo, but I am very impressed with the quality of this fabric so far very reminiscent of Everlane's. So I got this turtleneck in this ribbed fabric in this chocolate brown color, uh, very similar to the chocolate brown of the Heat Tech. The only difference is obviously this one is ribbed. You guys know I love my beige warm tones and my beige neutrals, so this is kind of going to go with everything. And then I got this very on brand for me, uh, beige color of it. And both of these pieces each of them were also $9.90 on sale. So the ripped turtleneck is actually very similar to the Heat Tech turtlenecks. The only difference is obviously it is a ribbed fabric. Uh, it is also a mock neck, so it doesn't come as high on the neckline as the turtlenecks do. Uh, but in terms of the type of fabric, it is very lightweight, very similar to the Uniqlo Heat Tech one. And I will say, very similar to the Everlane ribbed fabric, which is like for me kind of the top of quality for my wardrobe. Um, very much like this chocolate brown color. I don't have very much in chocolate brown, but I'm really vibing on this. And here is the camel color, the lighter beige on, and I pulled it out just so that you guys can see the full length of it. It's actually a little bit longer than the heat tech turtlenecks are. Um, and a little bit boxier, I'd say. It's not as tight as the Heat Tech Turtlenecks, but still a great basic and also a great color. All right, moving along to sweaters, um, I picked up just a very classic taupey beige hoodie. Now, if you remember a couple H&M hauls back, I actually picked up an entire sweatsuit from H&M and very similar color. I ended up returning it. Uh, spoiler, if you haven't seen that haul, just because I'm trying to be more conscious of what I'm bringing into my closet. And it wasn't perfect, that style. That being said, I was really excited and I'm still on the hunt for a good beige zip-up hoodie. Um, the one at H&M actually wasn't zip-up, so that was another thing. I don't have a lot of zip-up hoodies and I find them really comfortable because they're kind of like cardigans. Kind of throw them on and can have anything underneath, you don't have to kind of pull it over your head. But this one here is actually a little bit different because it's kind of like a French terry cloth, not really a fleecy fabric, which is really nice. You guys know that I always oversize on my hoodies. I just find it more comfortable, more kind of cool looking that way. Uh, so this is actually an extra large, uh, and I'll show you guys how it'll end up fitting. But so far, looking pretty good. This one here is $29.90. This is the beige hoodie on, and so, so happy that I sized up. Honestly, if I didn't tell you guys that this was an extra large, you might not think it was an extra large. And I just really like this sort of slouchy look when it comes to my hoodies. I feel like it kind of just looks a little bit more stylized when it is oversized and not super tight. It's also a hoodie, so I feel like I want to be swimming in it. I want to be comfortable in it. This is kind of a really cute look, I feel like, layered on top of like different tonal beiges and browns. I feel like it's a really cute, comfortable look. Um, really like the fact that it's not fleecy inside. I feel like this will carry me into the spring really well as a result and really happy that I ended up choosing this one because I am going to keep this one over the one from H&M just because it just gives me a little bit more versatility than the one that H&M did. The only thing I will say about Uniqlo and I'm not sure you'll have to check where you are and what the shipping and returns is like for you but for me here in Canada it did come with a prepackaged return label which is so nice. You can't return it in store which isn't a big problem problem for me right now because all of our stores are closed anyhow, but there is, I believe, a $10 processing fee for any refund, so you want to keep that in mind when you're purchasing. Um, I kind of know my sizes in Uniqlo, so for me, it wasn't too much of a worry, but in terms of, obviously, the styles and things like that, trying anything new, uh, you do just want to keep that in mind. All right, let's move along to pants. I feel like Uniqlo, other than my jeans and... <laughs> my Everlane straight legs, which I wear all the time. I feel like Uniqlo does pants really well. They're really classic, well-fitting, basic pants. So I picked up a few new pants from them. This first one is actually a silhouette that I already own. I have it in this sort of houndstooth color. I recently purged it in my closet sale just because the houndstooth was a little bit too loud for me uh, and my current style, and I just found I wasn't wearing it very much. But 
I got it in this chocolate brown color. I just felt like it was gonna look really chic with that brown turtleneck, chocolate brown turtleneck tucked into it. So this is actually called um, their stretch legging pants. So they are designed to look like pants. They even have the pockets in the back. The pockets at the front are not functional, but they fit like leggings. So they are super stretchy, um, super comfortable, skin tight. And if I'm remembering correctly, a fairly high rise like a mid to high rise and these pants are part of their classic line so they always kind of have a variation of it it's normally $39.90 but it was on sale for $19.90 okay chocolate brown okay okay we see you I like I said do not have a ton of things in chocolate brown but I am vibing on this uh, this is just that ribbed turtleneck, mock neck, tucked in to the leggings. And like I said, I love these leggings because they really do fit like pants, but with that skin tightness of leggings. Um, so really form fits to your curves. Uh, and more importantly, is really, really comfortable. In terms of the length, I still have a bit of ruching down here. So if you're a little bit taller, um, this will be totally fine on you. And if not, if you're a bit shorter, I'm about five, six, five, seven, uh, it will just have a little bit more ruching at the end, which I personally don't mind. But here is how it fits in its entirety. It really just looks like the perfectly fit pant. Uh, it's got those pockets at the back, which I love. No camel toe style action, which is nice. Uh, we appreciate that in a pair of pants that is like a legging. And really upset that I didn't buy them in other colors. All right, I took a gamble on this next one here. Really, I got it because of how it stated that it was really warm and in my brain I just thought that this was gonna be so great for hikes and things like that if I didn't want to wear snow pants but they are these heat tech warm lined pants so when I'm feeling them they do have like a sort of puffy feel to them so I'm not quite sure how they're going to fit if they're gonna be very flattering or not um, they're a very similar color to my straight leg Everlane pants that I'm wearing right now which is a color that I really like uh, it's got a stretchy waistband area as well as a button. They actually remind me a lot of my snow pants, although I do not believe that they are waterproof. We'll see on the fit of this. I don't know. It's it's not looking like it's going to be the most flattering of pants, but definitely warm. At least let's hope so. And these pants here were also $19.90. Is this warm? Yes. Very, very warm. Is it the most stylish, most aesthetic, most flattering pair of pants? Not really. It kind of, to me, feels like joggers, but not joggers at the same time. I'm a little confused with regards to the style and how I would style this. Um, even for a hike, like I still like to be fairly stylish when I'm on a hike. I don't really know what colors to pair with this either. It's kind of like a taupey greeny beige. Um, I'm not going to return it unless I have a ton more pieces to return just because it's not really worth it. If anything, I'll just resell it on like a Poshmark or something um, just because it's not worth the $10 fee when it's only $20 to begin with. But I will say it is very warm, very warm, very comfortable, uh, great for walks, cute, maybe not. Um, it's more of like a utility looking pant, but it is very warm like I will give it that the fleecy insides is amazing last in pants is a pair of chinos um I don't love the chino style but I don't hate the chino style either the Everlane chinos are quite nice but I would still probably choose my Everlane straight leg pants over a pair of chinos that being said I did see this on the model and was very impressed it looked very nice on her uh so I was very curious to try it out it is a higher uh waistline so i'm excited about that this is actually from their j plus line which i believe is a collaboration uh with a designer j j jill sander maybe i don't know don't quote me on that but it is a collaboration so uniqlo does amazing collaborations and i find that their designer collab pieces are very very well made but these pants here were also on sale for $19.90 Okay, brown chinos, I see you, I see you. I put one shoe on just because I kind of wanted to see how I would style it, and this is exactly how I would do it. Um, this kind of look kind of looks like cargo pants, 
kind of gives you that like utilitarian look so I feel like tucked into a pair of streamlined boots like this is a really cool look this is exactly how I would wear it um, and then just to show you guys what the length is of the pant without any shoes on it is actually a tapered pant which is nice it gives it that like military looking vibe military utilitarian looking vibe it is a little bit bigger than I expected I did expect it to be like a little bit tighter than this especially for a size 4 I think I kind of like called that from the beginning but if you're looking to get it consider sizing down maybe if you don't want so much of a slouchy look and special call out to my friend Andrew uh, at Andrew Kotaro is his Instagram. He's not on YouTube, but he is the one who suggested on his Instagram stories this fluffy loungewear set and unique low, which is originally what brought me to their website to begin with. And so I picked it up because it looked so cozy, so cute, super trendy. Um, and it is this fluffy, I don't know how if you can tell just how fluffy it is, uh, fluffy loungewear set. It's kind of that textured fleece uh not a really thick fleece like a fluffy fleece if that makes sense really like the textured drawstring as well it's a really nice touch it is a wide leg pant or a straight leg wide leg pant uh, i always oversize you guys know that in my loungewear i like to kind of swim in my loungewear and be like loosey-goosey in it oh so these are the pants here i really wish they made a pair of shorts as well i feel like i'd be really into that and the matching top is just a mock neck sweater here again i oversized and got a medium i would typically wear a small in both of these it is not on sale unfortunately uh the pants here are 29.90 which is still a pretty good price and the sweater here is also 29.90 so the whole set all together is sixty dollars um i believe that they have or might have another color available in it as well but i just really liked this off-white creamy color I got influenced and I am so happy for it because this is so cozy and cute. I feel like one big teddy bear. I really like this textured um, fleecy action. I feel like it is really cute. Kind of gives you that like, I don't know, put together housewife sort of vibe. Is that is that a thing? Um, anyhow, really like the color of it. Uh, despite being like a thinner fleece, it's not see-through at all, which is really nice. Um, and it is very comfortable. I haven't obviously tested wearing it all day yet and whether I'm going to get like a sweaty bum or sweaty under boob. But so far, I'm feeling pretty good in this. And I feel like this is like a trendy, fashionable loungewear set. Um, if you guys... Can see the texture I feel like it gives rise to that but from afar it does kind of just look like a regular sweatsuit but it is textured and very cozy I kind of feel like a sculpture you know when they like stipple a sculpture I don't know really like it thank you for the reco Andrew and thank you for making me do an entire haul now for it just joking I love you and you guys know I could not do a haul without grabbing a jacket. I actually really like Uniqlo jackets. I have a lot of their uh, leg down puffers that I really, really like. I like to layer them underneath my parkas, especially on really cold days. Uh, and they're just quilted and warm and cozy. And they also like pack down really small. I did not get another one of those. I have quite a few already. But I did see this puffy padded trench coat. And I am so into that look. I love trench coats to begin with, but obviously it's way too cold to be wearing a trench coat outside right now. So this puffy trench just seemed like such a brilliant idea. It's got the lapels, just like a regular trench, those like double breasted buttons. It's got a tie up action here. And in terms of the length, it is fairly long. I would say it's gonna hit just past my knee, maybe mid, mid calf. But the biggest thing is, do you hear this? It's like a duvet, and that, my friends, is the key to success when it comes to puffy jackets. And this padded coat, which I have really high hopes for, uh, is $49.90, which is a great, great deal. Okay, yes, we are here for this. We are here for this. This is actually a lot longer than I originally expected and I'm here for that extra length. I would say it goes mid-calf for me. This is exactly how I would wear and style it. Slouchy, styled over something really clean on the inside. Um, I basically style the whole outfit and I feel like I should go outside and shoot this now. But uh, here, 
focusing, focusing, Mel, on the jacket. Um, like I said, I oversized on this. I love my trenches oversized. I feel like the look is very oversized right now. Hold on, let me put down the camera so I can tie this properly for you guys. Here it is tied up, and obviously if you got it in a smaller size, it's gonna fit a little bit more tailored. I just find that when something is oversized like this and you cinch the waist and it's well made, the way that it falls just looks so much higher end, a lot more designer looking, and also gives you the opportunity to layer a lot more underneath. But you see that sort of like cinched waist and then large sleeve action? Um, that only comes when you oversize something. Even if you don't oversize, this is a great jacket, super cozy. I love the fact that it is a trench coat, but it is padded. This is like a dream come true for me because I love my trench coats, but it is just way too cold to be wearing trench coats right now. Your girl's just gonna have to wait till the spring and love it. It's like I'm swimming in a duvet. And very last but not least, in my haul are accessories. So I really like Uniqlo for their basic, basic accessories. Like it's nothing fancy, but they just kind of work and are functional. The first thing I got was actually these uh, Heat Tech gloves. These are actually their, I believe, um, function gloves. So I believe they're going to be able to, yep, access my phone and my touch screen, which we love and are here for. But like I said, I really like Uniqlo's Heat Tech technology in general. For those of you also in cold climates, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, so I got this pair of gloves mostly because I am really wearing gloves when I leave the house all the time. We are at that point in the Canadian winter where it is impossible to leave your digits without covering. Uh, so super excited about these. And the best part is that they were on sale, which is shocking because I would have paid full price for them. Uh, they were $9.90. And that is it for my Uniqlo sale haul. Like I said, I did not plan this whatsoever. I just happened to go on their site to get that fluffy set. Thanks, Andrew. Um, and ended up with a wholesale haul because I just didn't even realize Uniqlo was having a sale. And if you browse through my channel, you will know that I love myself a good Uniqlo sale. Their sales are typically chef's kiss so i hope you guys liked this video if you did make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up comment below let me know your favorites as always but also what you think of uniqlo i personally really like the brand um i would say that they sit in my probably top 10 brands ever i feel like if you scroll through my youtube channel again you'll kind of get an idea and sense of the brands that i really gravitate to so very excited about the new pieces coming into my closet and also the wearability of them because we are on the accountability trend of trying to only bring things into our closet that we know we're gonna wear. But with that, friends, I hope you guys have an inspiring rest of your day. Let me know if you are shopping the Uniqlo sale and if the sale is going on around you, I'd love to know. If you are new to the Inspired family, we love it if you join us and subscribe. But with that, friends, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.